So I've already started with my base. I used my YSL Touche, uh, La Touche Eclat foundation and I filled my eyebrows in with my Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my eyes. I've already primed my eyes. I used my um, Makeup Forever Aquamatic Eyeshadow. This is an S52 and here's the color. It's just a nude, <clears throat> nude sort of satin finish shadow. Actually when it's on for a while it looks like it turns kind of matte and you probably won't even really be able to see it but there it is right there. Um, that's a different eyeshadow that I was contemplating using but changed my mind. So I went ahead and started with that. Um, I'm going to kind of talk about dupes as I go through this look because my original look was all MAC and I really want to use my Lorac Mega Pro palette so I'm going to use this palette I will use one MAC eyeshadow that I have to use because I just don't have another dupe for it. Although, in my mind, I keep going back and forth thinking maybe I could use like a color tattoo. Um, but I don't really have anything quite like this, so I'm going to stick with the original MAC eyeshadow that I used. So for my crease, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with a little bit of this color here. It is called Brown. Now, originally when I did this look using my MAC eyeshadows, I used cork um, through my crease at first, uh, but because I'm using the Pro palette, I'm going to start with brown. And that's just going to go lightly through my crease. I'm not going to go too heavy with this. So again, start in your crease and kind of blend that color up. Um, the next color I'm going to use is Camel, which is this one, and that is a nice dupe for Saddle from MAC. And that is also going to go in through my crease. And I'm just going to start out here in this outer corner and work the color in through my crease to the inner corner. Okay, for the next part, I'm going to use a flat shader brush. I'm using my favorite 242 brush from MAC. And I'm going to go into Mulberry. The original color that I used was Love Rush from MAC. So actually what I'm going to do is, I'm trying to remember what I did yesterday. I started along the lash line and then kind of pulled it up through the crease. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and start to blend. So I didn't use a whole lot of this color because it was a little more on the subtle side. Let me zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you can see where I'm placing the color just right along the lash line and I'm pressing that in and then taking it up into this outer corner. So you see I'm actually making kind of like a V. And then I'm going to blend the color out towards my center part of my crease and for this I switched brushes because I wanted something that was a little more on the stiff side the uh, 224 brush from MAC is a little bit more uh, fluffy and it's not as sort of stiff so that's why I switched to this one okay the next product I'm going to use is an eyeshadow from MAC now this is actually one of the electric cool eyeshadows it was one of the um, the soft eyeshadows. This one is called Love Power and it's pink. These are really super soft. You actually could apply them with your finger if you wanted to. What I'm going to do is use this brush here. It's the uh, Real Techniques Duo Fiber Eye Brush. And I'm just kind of taking it right along very gently the, the surface of the eyeshadow. And I'm not, I wasn't pressing hard with the brush. Just like I said, minimal pressure. And then what I'm doing is just kind of feathering this onto my lid. Because this color was more on, it was more subtle, it wasn't very concentrated on my lid. And then I'm going to use a uh, another Real Tex Techniques brush. I don't even remember what this is. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to go back into the Electric Cool eyeshadow, and I'm going to run this along my lower lash line from this inner corner over.
Okay, now I'm going to take my fluffy brush. This is a 224 brush. And I'm going to go back into Camel, that color there. And I'm going to run <clears throat> I'm going to run some of that back through my crease, starting at the outer corner and going right over towards the inner. Uh, what I'm going to do now is take an eyeliner. This is a uh, chromographic pencil from MAC. It's a multi-use pencil, so you can use it on eyes, lips. This one is called Process Magenta. And I think this one is approved for the eyes. I don't know. I don't really have any eye sensitivity, so I've used this on my eyes and not have any issues. And that's what it looks like so that you can see. If you don't have anything like that, you can always use... Um, I got this one here from um, OCC. It is called Anime. You could use this one, and this one is also a sort of multi-use pencil. There's that one. Um, this one I got at Sephora. I think it was like $16. I think the chromographic pencils are like right around $20. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the lower outer corner here, right along my lash line. I'll go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see. There's another pink pencil that came out uh, by MAC. It was one of the uh, technical twist-up pencils you could use. And then I'm going to take a little smudger brush. This is a 214 brush from MAC. And I'm going to go into Mulberry, and I'm going to smudge this out. So back in with the fluffy brush, this is the 217 from MAC, and I'm just going to blend this a little bit more. A good trick that I learned from the uh, event that we had at my counter, somebody had asked the senior artist, how far down can you take your, let, let's say like your eyeshadow on the bottom? And a good guideline that she gave was, look at how long your lower lashes are and take your eyeshadow down to the same length of your lashes. Does that make any sense? So, like, my lashes are pretty short, um, and my lashes actually kind of end right where I have that sort of little, like, indent right there. So that's how far down I can take my eyeshadow along my lower lash line. But if you have really long lashes, you can take your eyeshadow down the entire length of your lower lashes and it'll look actually very good. So what I did with my little smudger brush here is I smudged out the bottom and then I kind of took it up toward, on top of my uh, upper lid here right along the lash line and just smudged it out a little bit more. But I'm kind of connecting this bottom to the top Okay, and then for the inner corner, sort of highlight color, I'm going to use this one here. It is called Opal. It's really very pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Okay, so I'm just going to use a pencil brush, and I'm going to put a little bit of that Opal color right here in the inner corner. Um, I think I am going to take a, um, let's see, I'm going to use this color here. It's called Cream. And I'm going to use that right underneath my eyebrow. And I am going to use a fluffier brush with that because I want this to kind of like blend into that top color. Um, the original crease color that I put in just to soften it up a little bit more. And then maybe a little bit out here. Okay, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and curl my lashes, add some mascara, and then I'm going to tight line and use a little bit of my Definedly Black in my upper waterline or whatever the heck you call that. Upper waterline? I don't know. Um, I'm going to skip doing it on the bottom though because I'm going to use a different color. Okay, so I'm going to use um, an, eye, or an eyeliner called Raven. This is from MAC. I can't remember what collection this was from. I've had it for a while, but um, I'll swatch it on my hands so that you can see the color. That's what it looks like. It's really very pretty. It's more, it's kind of like a, uh, when you look at it, it looks cranberry, almost like a metallic-y blackened cranberry. So this is going to go along my lower lash line. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and conceal and I'm going to use a little bit of my uh, Pixie Peach Corrector right in this inner corner here. For my concealer, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear in NW20.
and I'm using my uh, big elf fluffy brush here to blend it out and this is the elf flawless concealer brush so I'm just going to do a quick contour. I'm going to use a MAC paint pot. This is called Groundwork. That's what it looks like. And I'm going to use this brush here. This is a Sephora brush. This is the Pro Flawless Airbrush brush. I guess it's number 56. Um, that's what it's called. And I believe it's number 56. And this is what the brush looks like. So I'm just going to start over here next to my ear and then just kind of pull up lightly. I'm going to use a little bit of my um, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder on a big fluffy brush. This is a MAC 187. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of my uh, Laguna Bronzer and this is just going to kind of go in the areas where I'm going to go back in and contour with a different color but this is, is going to be more of like just some bronzer nothing real definite just sort of diffuse now I'm going to use my most favorite brush in the world and I'm going to take which is my Wayne Goss 02 brush and a little bit of blunt blush from MAC and this is just going to deepen my contour up a little bit more so basically what I do is I just tap the brush into the blush and go right in here <clears throat> and just deepen this up a little bit more. So I think I'm going to add a little bit of highlight down the center of my face. So I'm going to use MAC Emphasize on a big fluffy brush and I'm going to be very minimal with this. Um, I'm using a 116 I like this because it's a little bit flatter, so what I'm doing is just pressing it in and then I'm going to tap some of that off so that I don't have so much, but I'm just going to tap it right in through the center of my face. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of blush and I'm going to use Cantaloupe from MAC, that's what that looks like, and I'm just going to take it on my Wayne Goss brush and just very gently tap the brush in because all I want to do is just add a little bit of color right here not a lot okay and then for lips I'm going to do something a little more dramatic I'm going to use Vino lip liner from MAC and fixed on drama lipstick which looks like that okay so we are all done with today's look so thank you guys so much for watching take care have a great day and I will see you all again very soon bye